Happy quarantine. Okay, so real quick here, just a project I got that was uh, pretty cheap. Uh, I think the whole thing is right around 50 bucks. These are two 8x32 flexible LED modules. These are $14 WS2812B modules I got off eBay. They run on 5 volts and it says that they can take up to 5 amps, but uh, I think that's pretty high. Either way, I got a 10 amp power supply, and uh, that's plenty for the project. So here's the exact LED panels I bought on eBay. The panels are by Wasiri-LED, that's W-E-S-I-R-I-LED. Then it's always tough to decide what you want to drive these things by. Uh, usually it's an Arduino with fast LED running. But in this case, just to get it up and running as quick as possible, I got one of these T1000S uh, controllers for I think about 14 bucks off eBay. Lastly, I bought a 10 amp uh, switching power supply. Like I said, I think that's overkill, but uh, it works pretty nice as you'll see here in a second. Then connecting it is super easy. You can see once you've got the power supply hooked up, um, then I'm coming out with a speaker cable into the 5 volt and ground into the T1000S. And then it's just a matter of taking power directly into the LEDs and hooking the ground and the data up um, as appropriate. There's uh, green wire is the data in on this particular LED configuration. Okay, so you're wondering, probably wondering why I chose to go with this T1000S over, say, an Arduino or that. Um, first off, I've used it with a lot of different LED projects in the past, and it, um, I won't say it works <laughs> well, but I'm familiar with it, and, you know, I spent a lot of time uh, troubleshooting it and working out its quirks, and there have been many times when I've just thought the thing absolutely did not work. And, um, you know, after hours of troubleshooting, <laughs> it usually comes to a couple of different conclusions. Whoa. Um, one is you got to make sure that your card is formatted. Two, that LED um, edit software that it comes with only seems to work on um, older laptops, Windows 7 laptops. So far, nothing on um, Windows 10. And... You know, and the file naming convention, you need to make sure your files are named correctly. But with that said, um, got it. Camera does not do this justice, but <laughs> I've worked with it, and uh, I like the fact that you can store several different, um, you know, acts or whatever you want to say in there. So I've got a couple in here now. You can go through, you can change the speed, you know, of what's going on, so you can slow it way down. Let's see when it comes back. So you can slow it down so that it's painfully slow. You can speed it up a bit, speed it up a lot. Um, I don't know, it just seems to work pretty well. And it's it's easy. It's about 10, 15 bucks. So it's much cheaper than a lot of the other options. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to see this with camera out of focus.